shocked in this race as he sees his numbers with women continue to plummet. Mr. Trump using his speech at Gettysburg this weekend to issue a threat to the women. Every woman lied when they came forward to hurt my campaign. Total fabrication. The events never happened. Never. All of these liars will be sued after the election is over. That warning did not stop an 11th accuser from coming forward this weekend. Adult film star Jessica Drake claims she received an unwanted kiss and proposition from the real estate mogul at a golf event in 2006. Later that evening, he invited me to his room. I said I didn't feel right going alone. So two other women came with me. When we entered the room, he grabbed each of us tightly in a hug and kissed each one of us without asking permission. He was wearing pajamas. A bodyguard was also present. After that, I received another call from either Donald or a male calling on his behalf, offering me $10,000. I did relate my experiences immediately afterwards to some friends. Now, Trump's response to those allegations is sparking controversy of its own. Watch. You know, I don't grab him on the, uh, you know, as they say, on, on the arm. And once that he grabs me on the arm, and she's a porn star. Now, you know, this one that came out recently, he grabbed me and he grabbed me on the arm. Oh, I'm sure she's never been grabbed before. Oh, boy. Well, the Trump campaign communications advisor, Jason Miller, who we like, was set to appear on The Kelly File tonight. But he canceled not long after the campaign asked us if we would bring this issue up tonight. And we said, maybe. We're going to talk about Trump's speech at Gettysburg, and Trump is the one who brought up suing the women. So we trust Jason will come back another day. My memory will kick in, and I might actually ask the question later. That's generally how TV works. Joining me now, Julie Reginsky, who was brave enough to walk in onto the set. And even when it's bad news for her candidate, she does as well. She's a Democratic strategist, Fox News contributor. So this is all people were talking about, yep. this woman. It got even dicier because she is, I guess, do you, you have to say adult film actress? Is that the PC term? I guess so. Okay. Porn star, I think, yeah. is, you know, Trump is right about that. Um, and he's coming under fire for saying, I'm sure she's, I'm sure she's been grabbed before. Give me a break. Well, you know, the slut shaming, I think, is kind of inappropriate. Um, what she does for a living is what she chooses to do for a living. Being grabbed by somebody is not what she, I assume she would choose to have happen to her. There's a big difference here, right? On the one hand, this is the way she makes her money. We could be judgmental or not about that, but it's her decision. That's like blaming a woman for getting raped. She's wearing a provocative outfit and people saying that she deserves it because she was out there doing provocative things. I, you know, those, 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 those are over, I think. Those attacking her, they say she has sex on camera for money okay and so they don't believe her that she was offended when he offered her money for sex well I assume I'm certainly not speaking for her and I don't have much experience in this department but I assume she chose and continues to choose to have sex for money which is very different from having somebody force themselves on her well but she doesn't the, choose that. but there are two separate issues there right. it's the alleged forcible kissing right. and then there's the phone call she says he made offering her ten thousand dollars for sex which okay. she was offended by and that and some said we don't believe that we don't believe you were offended well, I'm not sure about that. I can leave that to her to decide. I think the forcible kissing is what the issue is for me. Despite the fact that she chooses to have sex for money on camera, it doesn't mean that she deserves to be forcibly kissed or forcibly assaulted in any way. And again, I want to stress, it's her word against his. He deserves the presumption of innocence. It's the way he talks about these women that I take issue with, not what may or may not have happened. We don't know what may or may not have happened. I look forward to the depositions in his lawsuit. No, he's not going to out. Of course he's not, because he won't want to disappoint anybody. Yeah. Trust me, he's not. And if, and if he is, it's going to be very ugly. He should yeah. not do that. Uh, by the way, he didn't say it, he's going to sue them after the election. I assume he means only if he loses. Otherwise, we're going to have a really awkward first 100 days. It's going to be amazing. The president is coming after a bunch of women. <laughs> but you tell me, I have to say, Julie, with all the coordination we have seen on the Democratic mm -hmm. side, I mean, like, she wants us to believe she's so squeaky, squeaky clean. Speaking of Disney, she's just like Minnie Mouse over there, like, yeah. But she does some dirty stuff, too. And so it... It is not impossible that there was some coordination at some level by the Clinton campaign with 
one or more of these women? Well, two things. One is she did do maybe dirty stuff, but I don't think it's political dirty tricks that we're talking Hillary? about. Hillary? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm talking about Hillary. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, sorry that's what I'm saying. Did, did her campaign coordinate? Because he says all of this is a hit job. These women came forward, you know, last month of the election, and he thinks Hillary's behind I it. think this is very much like Bill Cosby, where you have a torrent of women coming out, and one begets the next, and begets the next, and it maybe gives women courage to come out. I have no idea. I doubt that this would need to be coordinated, because I think you have all these unrelated women some of whom have said they're not voting for Hillary. They don't like Hillary. They're Republicans. You have the People magazine reporter, who I don't think is in the tank for Hillary, is going to put herself through this hell mm -hmm. because she's in the tank for Hillary. I think this is very reminiscent to me of Coffee, um, who also, again, we have to presume is innocent when he's proven guilty. But you see this time and again where you have one woman being brave enough to stand up and say something, and then that begets more and more women in the forward. We'll continue to follow it. Yep. And we will look forward to Jason <laughs> returning to the Kelly file. Where, yeah, it's, a, it's going to be like a question.